With Stream Closed Captioner, you can take a standard Twitch broadcast like you see right here, where only people can hear you and see you, to a broadcast where they can also read what you're saying, improving accessibility access for everyone on Twitch. All you have to do is one click of the mouse on the companion website, and now you have closed captioning displaying at the bottom of the screen. It's just that simple. Companion website, one click, and boom, you have closed captioning displayed everywhere. Not only that, but there are other settings to customize the experience for your viewers. All they have to do is just hover over the text and they can drag it around wherever they want to. And also, they can toggle visibility of closed captioning on and off. Just that simple. Customize experience for everyone. Getting started with Stream Closed Captioner is really easy. There's only a couple steps that a streamer has to use in order to enable closed captioning on their stream. First step is to go to the extension page and click install. After the click install, the extension is, it has successfully been installed. Now let's go to configuration. When they go to the configuration page, they'll be greeted with the configuration page with a couple easy steps that they should follow if they want to set up the extension. The outline for these steps is to enable the extension as a video overlay, visit the companion website, and then on the companion website, complete a couple steps. The, the first step being uh, linking your Twitch account to log in, uh, visiting the dashboard page, and then when they're ready, toggling closed captioning on to turn on closed captioning, and when they're done, to toggle it off to make sure that uh, closed captioning doesn't remain on in, in those times where you want to mute the mic or not send any data. So let's uh, actually go to the Stream CC website to go through the setup process. When you first go to the Stream CC website, you're greeted with the homepage uh, explaining what the closed captioning extension is, uh, a couple get, getting started steps for explanation. Let's actually go through and start connecting with Twitch. So we're greeted with the login and we should connect our account with Twitch letting them know that we need their Twitch login in order to be able to publish closed captioning to their channel. Let's click connect to Twitch. After connecting to Twitch and authorizing the application, you'll be greeted with the dashboard page. And on the dashboard page, there is a checklist again for the user in case they forget to do any of the steps. Setup steps a section for closed captioning toggling on and off, and then a setting section for their spoken language, their language and the dialect. Right now, it supports up to 20 different languages and dialects. So it's not just English that's supported, but also languages like Arabic, Spanish, Chinese, Japanese. So this extension covers everyone across the world that wants to use it. We're gonna stick with the United States English in this situation. So looking at this checklist, since we just installed the extension, we actually haven't completed the setup process. So as a reminder, we have it right here, very simply. So it reminds you to install the extension, which we've already done. And then it also says to enable it as a video overlay. Let's check cl clicking that. Now we're taking to our extensions page, our extend, the My Extension page for the broadcaster. And we have the stream closed captioner right here. So let's uh, activate it as our video overlay. All right, we're done. It is set as our video overlay. So now let's go back to our website. So now it says the next step is to go live and switch it on. So let's say, so once I'm ready and I click live, let's toggle this button to on, and we're greeted with a nice green bar letting us know it's on. A reminder to switch this off or mute the mic when you don't want to have your conversation uh, closed captioned. 
and then you can see actually what the closed captioning is captured and will be sending to the to the people to all your viewers for your channel that's super cool and when you're done all you have to do is toggle it off and you're finished now closed captioning won't be sent i hope you think the stream closed captioner is an awesome tool and there's many more features that i want to build into it as time goes on